Hello everyone, welcome back to Catch em All YT. Today we are going to be discussing some giant leaks found on Reddit about Pokemon Go Fest 2020 and uh, the Ultra Bonus Unlock, which will be after that. So I'm going to get into that in a minute here. I know I always start on my channel, but I always just want to talk to you all about what I'm thinking here. So on my latest video I posted 14 hours ago, I got 32 views, uh, lots of comments, so it's great to hear from you all. I love to hear what you guys have to say and uh, give me some support on these videos because I really do like to make videos for you all. It's, it's pretty fun for me. So, I mean, any support is really awesome. Subscribers, likes, all that kind of thing. I, I just love it all. So let's get into the uh, leaks here. So this was posted on r slash the Silk Road on Reddit today. So there's a website, but I like this comment a little bit better. It's probably easier to read on the site, but I read from the comment first. So this is from user AC Faraway. So we're going to use what they posted here. So I'm going to start with Niantic sent over the schedule for day one of Pokemon Go Fest 2020, and it's going to be packed. The event will give players plenty of opportunities to catch sought after shinies with the rotating habitats, but what's more important is the traditional ultra unlock bonuses that's tied to the event. So that means if you aren't participating, you will benefit from what happens to Pokemon Go Fest 2020. On the other hand, that also puts a lot of pressure on the attendees. Here's what's going on for the day of those meticulous planners. So we have the schedule. The rotating habitats will run as follows. All events are scheduled for Eastern time and moves over to Pacific time. It's a little complicated, but pay attention. The schedule applies to your time zone. So we have 10 a.m. EDT, so this is when it starts for the East Coast players. So we have the battle. Then at 11 a.m. we have friendship. Then 12 p.m. we have fire. And then it goes to 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern, then 10 a.m. Pacific. I'm just going to go with Eastern time because that's my time zone. So for 1 o'clock we have water. For 2 o'clock we have grass. For 3 o'clock we have battle. For 4 o'clock we have friendship. For 5 o'clock we have fire. For 6 o'clock we have water. For 7 o'clock we have grass. And to finish it off at 8 o'clock we have battle. So that's when it ends for the East Coast players. And then it goes for 3 extra hours because of time zones. So that's basically how it's going to work for the habitats during the 10 hours of the event. So here's where it gets really crazy. Like this is some crazy info. Uh, one of my friends on Discord posted this. And I read it and I was just in awe. And I hope you all have the same reaction that I did here. So let's get started. Ultra Unlock Bonuses. Now that you know the habitats for each hour, let's take a look at the Ultra Unlock Bonuses. Throughout the day, trainers will have 32 global challenges that they can com complete. They can keep track using the Global Challenge Arena in the Today view of Pokemon Go. Achieving the goal opens up themed weeks uh, followed, following the event. They are the following. So Ultra Unlock Week 1, Dragon Week. So we have to complete 8 challenges, which shouldn't be too hard. Ultra Unlock Week 2, we have the Enigma Week, which is kind of interesting. So we have to complete 16. And then Week 3 is the Innova event. So we have to complete 24 challenges, which, I mean, as we all play during our times, I don't think this is going to be a problem. I think it's just a fun way to make the bonuses a little bit more difficult to unlock than before. And I'm totally behind what they're doing here. So here's what trainers get for Dragon Week, which runs 1 p.m. July 31st to 1 p.m. August 7th. The following Pokemon will appear more in the wild. Alolan Executor, Shiny Available, Horsey, Shiny Available. I'm not going to say Shiny Available for now on because you probably know at this point what can be. So with Dratini, Bagon, Trapinch, Swablu, and Gibble, that one will be a little bit more rare. And then we have the po the following Pokemon will be common in 7k eggs. So we have Dratini, Bagon, Trapinch, Swablu, Gibble, and Dino. And they will be much rarer. But here's the big part. Both can be shiny. So shiny Dino is a really cool Pokemon. It is such a nice shiny. They actually mention it right here, but I just wanted to put in what I thought. It's such a nice shiny. I love the green. I was hoping to get a community day for its release, but I'm down for this too. This is going to be great. And then we have Rayquaza will be in five star raids from 1 p.m. July 31st to 1 p.m. August 7th. So that's a nice little shiny. I only got one shiny Rayquaza, so I mean, I'll take more for sure. I'm lucky friends with some people, so maybe we can swap them. So uh, It's still a pretty awesome mod. So as I mentioned before, this week we'll introduce Shiny Dino. It is green like money or the Incredible Hulk. Here's what trainers get for Enigma Week. It isn't as easily themed as Dragon, but it does hold some of the odder, more psychic focused Pokemon in the games. The following Pokemon will appear more in the wild. So we have Staryu, which will be a new shiny, Jigglypuff, 
Clefairy, which can be shiny, Lunatone, Solrock, Baltoy, Bronzor, and Elgian. So we have Pokemon appearing in raids. So we have Bronzong, Claydol, uh, LGM, Unknown. So we have the letters U, L, T, R, and A for the Ultra Bonus. Those four people who may have missed them last year. I'd get at least one of each just for the Unknown Medal. So I totally recommend getting those. They're going to be some nice raids too. So that's going to be also a pretty nice add-on. This one is where I started to get really hyped. So we have Deoxys will be available, and it can be shiny. It is a gorgeous color scheme of yellow and green. It kind of reminds me of the Jamaican flag, which it does, yeah. It has that kind of color scheme. It's pretty interesting. So it says, this is also the, the debut of Shiny Staryu. It's nice. I'm not particu particularly, I can't talk today, uh, impressed because of the color intensity. I like my shinies, so Blazing Sun Brilliant, you have to shield your eyes. So we have... Here's what trainers will face for Unova Week, which will debut a slew of new Pokemon. They include Siwaddle, which is Caterpie's cousin, Cotney, Emolga, and Bufalant. As the name of the week suggests, it's all about the Unova region, and co coincidentally enough, New York City and surrounding areas will enjoy a little something extra. Bufalant will be available to encounter and will be in eggs in those areas. So it is a regional for New York City and the surrounding areas. So. I'm in Michigan, so I'm not going to be able to get that one very easily. I can if I want to travel, but for a Pokemon, to be honest, it's not really worth it. So it makes me wish I could visit, but I wouldn't get on a plane right now. Uh, yeah, obviously. So we have Unova Week runs from 1 p.m. August 14th to 1 p.m. August 21st. So the following Pokemon will hatch from 7 kilometer eggs and will be available in the wild. Siwaddle, Cottony, and other pocket monsters from the region. The rare find will be a Molga. It's pretty much flying squirrel Pikachu. So, yep. So we have additionally Rog and Rolla and other Unova Pokemon will be in raids. This is where I started to get really excited. Deoxys was a nice add-on, but this one, this is one of the rarest shiny mythicals. So when it comes to legendaries, Genesect will be in five star raids and it can be shiny. It is such a nice shiny, like it's red and it's so cool. It was in the movie, the Genesect movie, that was the leader of them. And uh, it was a nice red shiny. I saw the movie, I'm like, whoa, a shiny mythical. It's pretty awesome. And now I might be able to get one of my own. So we have, uh, this is another one with a beautiful color swap that was talking about shiny Rog and Rolla. I'd recommend going hard for this. It's a nice shiny. Gigalith is such a beautiful shiny. It's the green, uh, kind of turquoise kind of crystals on it. So it's very nice. Also, I just wanted to add after reading this, I forgot to mention in the beginning, this info is subject to change because they were least found on Reddit and not an official source. However, I did just see in my Discord channels that uh, one of the Niantic sponsors posted a video like what I'm doing. So that kind of uh, makes it a little bit more believable. So if they actually do this, this is going to be one of the greatest events, in my opinion, that they'll ever do. Because Shiny Myth Goals, New Shinies, uh, New Pokemon, I mean, Unknown and Raids, that's pretty awesome. So I believe that's all I really wanted to talk about. I think I did have one thing on Discord. Um, here, I'll pull it up on my phone. So GoFest is in a couple days here. Obviously, I've made videos on it. So here's what Niantic said. They just said, Trainers prepared for Pokemon GoFest 2020. Tickets are available for purchase until July 26th at 6 p.m. local time. So that's three days from now and uh, four hours from right now, I believe, is what they said. Yep, 6 p.m. local time. So four hours for me and then three days so plenty of time to get your ticket i definitely recommend it because obviously if you haven't checked some of my other videos which i recommend you do go fest is going to be insane there's gonna be some awesome stuff going on new mythical new shinies all that good stuff so make sure to like and subscribe in this video uh, i will see you guys in my next video which is probably going to be about go battle league and i'll make that um probably tomorrow actually and then i will uh Start working on GoFest recordings for the weekend if I can get my phone fixed. So I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.